I mean, I guess it's better to laugh than cry. It's laugh out loud funny that Mitch Trubisky lives. And he's the starting quarterback of the Chicago Bears for this season. That is just embarrassing. It is pathetic. Bears fans don't want to believe it, but it's true. And this goes back to the entire offseason when I begged Chicago, do better than Nick Foles. Why do you give up a fourth-round pick? Why do you make a trade with the Jaguars? Why do you pay them all that money? I begged them, sign Teddy Bridgewater, sign Andy Dalton, trade for my guy Derek Carr, do something. Mitch Trubisky is one of the all-time biggest busts in the history of the NFL draft. You look at Deshaun Watson, you look at Patty Mahomes, we've been through that, and you have an opportunity to do better, and you failed. It's a combination of arrogance and ignorance on the part of Ryan Pace, the overmatched general manager of the Chicago Bears. Matt Nagy is rolling with Mitch Trubisky. Pace sets it up where he brings in Nick Foles, who last year in Jacksonville won as many games as I did with the Jaguars. If I'm a Bears fan, I would be absolutely positively sick to my stomach. How about DeAndre Hopkins? He got a mega buck extension today, and my guy, DeAndre Hopkins, worth every single penny. It's a two-year extension for $54.5 million with the Arizona Cardinals. And let me tell you something. This is awesome. DeAndre Hopkins is a top two wide receiver in the NFL. Last two years, you know, I'm one of the 50 voters for first team all pro. I voted for Hopkins and Michael Thomas. Hopkins is going to be sensational first year in Arizona with Kyler Murray, with Cliff Kingsbury, and he is going to help carry the Arizona Cardinals to the playoffs this year. Perfect spot for him. He'll be with Larry Fitzgerald and Fitz, of course, a Mount Rushmore NFL wide receiver. Great day for DeAndre Hopkins. Remember who he played with in Houston to start his career, the likes of Brian Hoyer and Ryan Mallett. I mean, what an absolute mess that was. Matt Schaub, believe me, this is great for DeAndre Hopkins, and I'm thrilled for him. He had battle scars playing with those guys in Houston. He earned it. How about the bevy of players who signed contract extensions over the weekend? Some big names that got some big paydays. Obviously, we reference Hopkins. Cam Hayward, he's Mr. Steeler, worth every penny. Trey White, my opinion, Tredavious White is the best corner in the NFL for my Buffalo Bills. And how about Deshaun Watson? I mean, that is a tremendous job by Bill O'Brien and company, not messing around. Four years, about $160 million. That Zoom press conference when his family was involved and Dabo Swinney and Justin Verlander. Watson's a superstar. I feel terrible for him that the Texans traded the aforementioned DeAndre Hopkins, who obviously just got that deal, as we mentioned, with the Arizona Cardinals. But Watson is, is Superman. He does things that you don't even think are possible with the game on the line in the fourth quarter. One of the great players and people and faces of the NFL. Love, love Watson. One of my favorite players to watch. Can't wait to see him on Thursday night. And he is clearly worth every single penny. How about Jadavian Clowney? Our long national nightmare is over. After five long months, Jadavian Clowney signed a one-year deal with the Tennessee Titans. And it is a Titan edition. No question about it. Never judge Jadavian Clowney by the sack total. This guy is a freak, and he's a threat on every single play. He needs to be accounted for. Remember, he played for Mike Vrabel, who, of course, now is the Tennessee Titans head coach. Played for him as a defense coordinator in Houston. You know, the Titans have a lot to prove this year. They need a little juice, need a little sizzle and swagger to prove that last year wasn't a fluke. I think this is great for Clowney, who obviously clearly misread the market. Great opportunity to sack the quarterback and do it all over again in free agency and do it better and do it right next March in 2021. Meanwhile, while Bill Belichick will not confirm that Cam Newton is in fact the starting quarterback, reports say that Cam Newton is the starting quarterback. I mean, Belichick won't confirm that the Patriots play in Massachusetts and that the sky is blue, but... Chris Stidham has been banged up and thrown to the wrong team, and 
Listen, Cam Newton's now healthy, and that's kind of a big deal. And I expect him to start against Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Miami Dolphins. Week number one of the NFL season this Sunday on CBS. And the quarterback advantage is clearly Miami. Seriously, for week number one. I think that Fitz has a ton of confidence playing against the Patriots. We saw what transpired in Foxborough week 17 last year. And listen, everything is rainbows and sunshine right now for Cam Newton and Bill Belichick. Let's wait until the game starts and Cam is throwing it to the wrong team or throwing it into the ground. Oh, baby, buckle up. Derek Carr was sensational on my Sirius XM radio show today. And I'm telling you right now, Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders are poised for an outstanding season. Derek Carr is going to dominate. I'm talking about a career year with the Raiders, and he's going to lead the Las Vegas Raiders to the playoffs. Derek Carr never gets the proper respect. I mean, look at these numbers. He completed 70% of his passes last year, threw for over 4,000 yards last year, and this was in a campaign when Antonio Brown torpedoed the entire season. They added Henry Ruggs, who could absolutely fly. Carr told me how much he loves the chemistry with Ruggs in practice, and I think starting this week against Carolina on CBS, they're going to have a smashing debut together. And Carr is very familiar now with John Gruden's offense and understands it, and they're in sync, and they're on the same page. And Mike Mayock said Carr has stepped up in terms of being a leader. The offensive line has been incredible since Derek Carr has been there. You can make the case as the top two offensive line in the league, with Indy being the other one. And Derek Carr has Josh Jacobs running the football, and that's kind of a huge deal. I think Josh Jacobs, when it's all said and done, could end up leading the NFL in Russia. Seriously. And the balance that he's going to give Derek Carr, my goodness, I think it's going to be amazing. This guy was in route to being Rookie of the Year. You forget it until he was injured, didn't play in the final two weeks of the season. Look at these numbers and his rookie running back ranking. I mean, we're talking about a breathtaking talent. Derek Carr is playing with a chip on his shoulder. He says that he doesn't fear the haters anymore. Let me tell you something. Derek Carr is highly motivated. Derek Carr never gets the credit he deserves. Derek Carr is going to shut the haters up forever when he leads the Raiders to the playoffs this season, their first year in Vegas. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for more videos.